With different precipitation types in winter, the key factor is just a degree or two in temperature change can determine what precipitation actually falls. And this changes as we go through the atmosphere. The atmosphere is layered like a cake as you go down, looking at it like a 2D plane. So if we're talking about rain, we have snow falling from the cloud base, and then it hits a warmer layer where it melts into rain, and that stays in a warmer layer all the way to the ground. So we see that rain on the ground, even though it started as snow up above. Now let's talk about freezing rain. It's a similar process. You have snow falling from the cloud base in a freezing layer. It melts into rain in a warmer layer just below that, but the surface is freezing. So that rain freezes on contact. That's when you get situations like black ice. Next is sleet. Again, we have snow falling from the cloud base, staying in that freezing layer. It melts into rain, but then we have a freezing layer just above the surface. So that rain freezes into little ice pellets, and that's when you see those sleet pellets bouncing off the ground as it falls. Finally, we have snow. This is the easiest one to determine. There's not a change in temperature as far as warmer than freezing from the cloud base all the way to the ground. So those flakes are able to make it to the ground. This is why winter forecasting is so hard. Even a degree or two, either at the surface or higher in the atmosphere, can change an entire forecast.